I'm tired of looking like I've been working on alternators and changing gas. But you can do this. Get a real plan. Cause I'm not gonna buy no drinks. We got wine in the refrigerator. I'm so bored. If I can't have it all, then I don't want it. If I can't have it all, then why am I trying? What's up, y'all? I'm back. I got a day off. I'm not in the ghetto today. Um, we are gonna get out of this hotel room and take these people their car back. And I don't know what else, but let's go. Perfect. I was feeling you. That nigga a munch. Nigga, either he ate it for lunch. Bitch, on my body. I it's hours later. Like, gotta make sure I know ice at a hard time. Hours. Hours. Hours later. I was being productive. I was, you know, being a good content creator. Neglected the vlog, but I was still working for y'all. Always working, okay? I was editing my shower routine for hotel life okay so it'll probably be out before y'all see this vlog so if somehow like you know if life was life and for you and you miss that shower routine make sure you finish this one like comment share and then go back and watch that shower routine okay okay because those things are hard even though i enjoy making them they're hard and now it's it's 6 13 I gotta go to work tomorrow and I'm on this. I worked the past three days. I was off today. So now for like the rest of this week and next week, it's like work a day, off a day, work a day, off a day. I thought about asking to like swap shifts so I could get my like shifts in a row and be done. But in real life, I already said that working 12 hours is the ghetto. So why do I want to commit to working? Why do I want to commit? Why do I want to make myself? Like it's different when they do it. But why do I want to do it to myself and commit to working multiple 12 hour shifts in a row when I already feel like it's a motherfucking ghetto? So I ain't do it. I'm going to work my day off a day. Work my day off a day. And then in about... A handful of more days, we're going to be back on the plane, back to H-Town. Anyway, I'm hungry. And I really feel like, what's today? It's Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. I feel like I want that Mexican place again because that food was really, really good. And it's actually what I ate the night that I filmed the pamper routine. So I just looked at the food. And it's Taco Tuesday. I'm feeling like it's a sign. It's a sign that I should order it again. But do I want to get, do I want to go there? Because if I go there, I can't walk. It's dark. That's how people come up missing and end up on Unsolved Mysteries. So <laughs> I'm not doing that. But if I Uber, let's see how much is an Uber. Okay, so Uber and Lyft is about... This is $8.99. It's a weird number. Um, why is it $8? Probably because it's prime time for people to be outside. One says $8.99. The other one says $8.65. Either way. <clears throat> if I Uber there, spend that $8, I'm going to eat, I'm going to drink. And then I'm going to Uber back. Unless I just want to go outside, I feel like I should just door dash because I'm going to pay the same amount of money anyway and actually pay a little less because I'm not going to buy no drinks. We got wine in the refrigerator. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. 
we're just gonna give it to DoorDash, let it go, and drink out our bottles in the refrigerator. My food made it, even though I had to go downstairs and get it. That's why I don't like the tip. Because if I'm door dashing, that's why it's door dash. I, I need door service. But no, I had to go down to the lobby. Glad I wasn't sitting up here in just my t-shirt and drawers. Because I'd have been annoyed as hell. But, side note. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I need, I, give me some stuff to watch. Because when I'm not editing a video or trying to make a video while I'm here, I need something to watch. And... Right now, the only thing besides YouTube that I have on my list is, I think it's Jenny and Georgia. I watched the first season, and the second season started, like, I feel like a week or two ago. Shot and I already watched it, finished it, and clearly it's good because she said it's got to be a season three or they're going to leave the world pissed off. So, I guess I'm going to eat my food and start that because... I'm finished editing. I edited the entire shower video. I did my description box. Y'all got links in there. Thumbnail is made. And I feel pretty productive. I do. So, I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink my wine. Then I'm going to take my Unisum and my Ashwagandha. I'm going to take my black ass to work tomorrow, I guess. So, I don't know if I'll see y'all again tonight. However... It's been a couple days. I'm pretty sure there's enough footage of me doing absolutely nothing here in Sacramento. Side note. I have a lot of side notes these days. I Hold on, Chelsea. I'm coming back to you, too. Um, I am going to have to find us a hookah spot. We work on Friday, so ideally, I would like to get off work. Yeah, get off work, come home, take a shower. And find me a hookah lounge. Make sure the people know where I'm at. My location services is on. Because I got to get out these four walls. I ain't had my hookah in two weeks. And I just want to get outside and vibe. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let y'all go tonight. And then I'm going to probably see y'all on Friday. Because it's Tuesday. Is that right? Thursday? No, what am I talking about? Hold on, because I don't even know anymore. It's Tuesday. The 17th, right? Yes, it's Tuesday. I work Wednesday. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know, girl. I work Wednesday and I work Friday. One of these nights, I'm going to see y'all and we're going to us a hookah spot. So anyway... If you didn't watch me ramble and do a whole bunch of nothing and you're not already subscribed, then girl, just hit the button, like, comment, share, tell a friend or two, boo things. Y'all know I with y'all a long way and I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Hey, what's up? What it do it is, I don't know, a day later, two days later. It's some days later. Been in the ghetto. You already know the deal. I'm so bored. <laughs> Sacramento is boring. There is like nothing exciting for me to find an, an Uber to go do, to go see. There's no, what do you call them things? Hell, I don't know. It ain't nothing to sightsee. It ain't nowhere to go. Only place I can think to go to is the mall and why do i want to go there because i'm going to spend a whole bunch of money and we didn't already discuss the fact that i ain't got nothing in my suitcase so next thing i'm gonna look for is oh last time i saw y'all i was rambling about going to a hookah spot none of them freaking open until 5 or 6 p.m well if i work a day off a day work a day off a day i'm only going to be able to technically go and enjoy myself on the day that I get out work which means I got to get out work come back to the room take a shower throw some sweatpants on because we all know that's all I bought and then go because I will be off the next day <sighs> why couldn't just why couldn't one just be open like today and I could have went at like two or three and 
you know, smoked, read a book, edited a video, and then brought my black ass back to my room. You know why? Because I'm not in Houston. It's not Houston, Nicole. Let it go. Move on to something else. What is my next rant? This, yeah, this may be full of rants. What's the next one? I keep looking for places to get food from. And you know what happens? I keep getting food from the same freaking, freaking restaurant. The Mexican place. The one place that I got food from the first week that I got here. I've gotten DoorDash multiple times since then. And it's from the same place. At this point, I've tried everything on the menu. Um, best thing on the Baja shrimp tacos. If anyone cared. Sauce was pretty good too. Have I been to sit and eat anywhere? No, because I don't want to come up missing and Sacramento just feels sketch McGitch. And that may be my own mental, but that's just how I feel. Like I toyed with the idea of going somewhere and then I take it back because I'm scared. I'm scared I'm going to go missing. So I just didn't right here. I did laundry today. And that's about it. Nothing else. But... I just finished my dinner and now I'm going to start Jenny and Georgia because I've watched everything it is to watch on YouTube. I'm caught up on everybody. So now the next thing is to move over to um Netflix. Jenny and Georgia. However, I need to figure out, does Peacock have an app? Because I still need to watch The Best Man series situation i got one episode in and that's it i guess i should probably google it while i'm asking y'all because by the time y'all see this i would have figured it out if they do or they don't by now so okay yeah y'all's battery is going dead i'll be back oh my god really <sighs> yep, I'm, you guys just i'm tired of looking like i've been working on alternators and changing gas and, and shit i'm tired of looking like a naked mole rat by the eyeballs but I like it doesn't make any sense to get my nails done because one Stephanie is not here duh two Stephanie's not here so why the hell would I get these nails done by somebody with the probability of having to get them redone again by somebody and not liking them to begin with so hence why they're not here now but I'm thinking maybe maybe I could be a DIY girl like maybe we can make <laughs> an experiment and do a DIY pamper me and get some what's some things called? Oh, they clip ons? They not clip ons. What are they? Press ons. Maybe I could get some press ons. Um, we could put those on together, turn into an experiment, see how long it lasts. Um. At least we won't be looking like your neighborhood mechanic. I don't know for how long. Um, maybe I could actually remember I tried the at home extensions at one time. You know, looked like a blind person applied them. But I liked them for the 16 hours that they lasted. So how about I get some press-ons. I'm going to get some extensions. Some at home extensions. And we turn it into a thing. Um... Yeah, I like I, li I like where this is going. I'm going to get my notebook and I'm going to write this stuff down and it's going to be a random video. So whether that video come out before you see this or if it ain't out, it's coming. I'm fixing to write it down and I'm probably going to have it sent here via Amazon. Yeah, I like where this is going. Okay, I'll be back. I think I told y'all I was doing a vision board the other day, but... I'm pretty sure I didn't actually show it to you. So we have a lot going on here, but since I made it, every time I open this laptop, I'm not 100% happy with it. Like, I like this saying, you know, God is within her, she will not fall. I like that. I feel that within the depths of my soul. Like, I was not created to not be and do 
great things. And one would say, you know, you do great things. You have done great things. I have not done whatever it is that I feel like I was meant to do. I don't even know. I just know I still don't feel fulfilled within life. I don't know what the hell that means. I don't know what else it is I'm supposed to do, see, touch. There's something. I don't know what. I feel like I'm getting closer to it, but it has not ha happened yet. So this, I need this in my life. This, you see the camera, you see the hands, you see the drinks. This is me still living my best life, clearly, with my camera and y'all in tow. Friends, family, toasting to life, living life. Most importantly, serenity. Peace and serenity. Lord knows I desire that. I seek that. Quit going off. And then, you know, a man. God knows what I want. He he shall provide for me. Once again, my camera, a Chanel bag, good lives, me. This is all centered around me, my wants, my desires. Once again, more peace, tranquility, um, less overworking my brain because my brain is always going. Those of you who have been around, you know. And my friends that watch this, y'all know my brain is always going. Even when I'm not talking about it, the brain is always spinning. I don't even know if this is always spinning, but it's not always spinning. It's always spinning about what is the next thing. Like I, I constantly feel like there's something I need to be doing in order to better my life and the life of the people around me. So when I say spinning, that's what it's spinning about. I don't really spin about random miserable and or shit that I can't do anything about because that drives me crazy to worry about stuff that I can't control in that aspect if that even makes sense so we have a plane here because I want to be on a plane you know and I want to be on a plane for leisure I don't want to be on a plane for work and I also want to take another trip with um my parents um not last year the, the year before we all went to Florida and I want to do that again because I want to do as many and as much things with my mom and daddy because I know hell I'm getting older they're getting older nor do I want to think about it but it's a reality they're not gonna be around one day Lord I'm not ready for that please don't put me on net um battlefield i'm not ready but i'm just saying like real life i want to do more things with them so i would love to plan another actual trip this year this is a saying everybody needs this who doesn't need wealth money security stability generosity and gratitude like i attract all that i want to be all that i want to be able to give all of that this y'all already know I rant and rave about this every freaking day. I want to not have to clock in and out in order to make a living. Yes, I want to work from home, own my own business, businesses of some sort. Something that allows me to live my life comfortably and not have to clock in and out for anybody else. What the hell that's going to entail if it ain't toting around this camera and continuing to talk to y'all? I don't know. There are plenty of other things that I could be doing that does not allow me to or does not require me to have to clock in and out somewhere. I just don't know what it is that I would actually want to do, guys. Like, I literally struggle with this every day. But I like this, but I'm not 100% happy with it because, you know, they tell you, you they say do a vision board and it should entail things that you want for yourself, things that you are going to work for, things that you are going to work toward, things that you want to be involved in your life. And so I have all of these pictures and myself, but I don't have a, a real picture of my friends and my family. So I'm going to have to redo this because I, I want a picture of them because I don't want to do all of these things and it does not have them in it you know those are my people I love and adore all of them family friends so I'm going to bring redo my vision board and put a picture of them just like I have a picture of myself this is all 
for me and I want them involved in all of the things that I want for me and for us. Anyway, I got off track. I don't even remember what I opened this. Oh, I remember what I opened this laptop. Uh, I remember what I opened this laptop for. I just seen the vision board. Ooh! And don't talk about my dirty screen either. But I was opening this to do something else and I thought about that. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, one more rant before we close this vlog out because it has literally consisted of absolutely nothing but me and my rants. Um... We're making a list. We're making a list of things. I mean, you know, aside from the list that I was just ranting about in the last clip about the stuff that I needed to buy for the pamper routine. Anyway, another list. We're going to make a list of things that I need for home. <laughs> things that I'm going to purchase to have at home when I get home. And y'all know, please comment down below because I know throughout my vlogs, I'm like, I need this. I need that somebody remind me and like this is it like come through for me remind me of something that I have said I need like off the top of my head I know I need a baking dish you know why because every time I try to bake some cookies or do something random like those Brussels sprouts that I did um before we came out here the Brussels sprouts with the Parmesan cheese, those needed to be on a baking dish because they are supposed to be nice and crispy like a chip and then you dip them. And mine's were not. They were good, but they weren't crispy. I need a baking dish. I need to add that to my list. Remember, we're getting rid of Chuck. I want to get a plant. Granted, I have to decide if I'm going to get a real plant or a fake plant. Realistically, it probably needs to be a fake plant. But the me in me wants to be like, but you can do this. Get a real plant. We know Susie almost died if it wasn't for Con. <laughs> but I want a real plant. Like I want the big, like the bird of paradise plant. So we're going to, I'm going to make a pimp decision and I'm going to either get a fake one or a real one. But we're going to get a plant. Oh, a camera. Not a camera. Focus, Nicole. Microphone. I have to get a microphone for my voiceovers now i know i don't do a lot of voiceovers but the few that i have done whenever i do a video and i just run the music like the shower routines every time i do them and i just like run the music through somebody always comment about how they wish it was a voiceover why y'all want to hear me ramble i don't know i appreciate it though i'm gonna give you what you ask for but also I like the ones like whether it's a shower routine, shower slash pamper routine, even like the cleaning videos or just like some some videos don't require you to say anything like it's just supposed to be a vibe. So I will continue to do random whatever the reason it is for the video and just music like that's it. That's the point. Just watch, listen, vibe. But how did I get here? I'm all off track. Microphone. I don't like the way it sounds when I do the voiceovers without the microphone. I shouldn't say I don't like. I know it could sound a lot more crisp and professional with the microphone because I can tell the difference in minds without a microphone versus like Aaliyah's face who has a microphone. Like it sounds way better. If I want to do everything that I possibly can, to make my channel what I want my channel to be. Because if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it, okay? So, I'm going to buy a microphone. I also want to get... <sighs> We're going to have to do some organization in my bathroom. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that shelf in my bathroom that actually houses my towels. I know y'all have. Like, I don't remember the last time y'all seen it. If you were if you know that I roll my towels, you've probably seen me like store them in that um like pantry slash shelf in my bathroom. But anyway, that needs some better organization. Like it's driving me insane. So I'm gonna have to buy something to organize my products in that shelf. And I'm gonna have to watch a few TikToks to figure out how to better roll my towels because I know there's a better technique than the one that I have. Because right now I just fold it and then actually like you know, roll it up. There's one where you can roll it and tuck it and all of that. Gonna have to watch your TikToks on that. Anyway, 
if you made it to the end of this video, which has been absolutely nothing but me rambling about nothing, drop what I want you to drop. What can you drop that's been significant? Drop the champagne bottle, like busting open. That's an emoji. If you made it to the end of this video, drop that emoji down. Let me know that you've been me the long way. And yeah, I'll probably see y'all tomorrow night. Because tomorrow's Friday. I'm going to work. It's Remy Friday. And we are not letting Sacramento suck the life out of Remy Friday just because it's Sacramento and I go to work. Okay? Okay. I love y'all. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. You thought I was feeling you? That nigga a munch. Nigga, either he ate it for lunch. Bitch, on my baddie, I get what I want. Like, you thought I was feeling